shadow man down here. The shadow man is a gentleman, or we assume he's a male, stands in the doorway behind me, and he's been seen by a group of Girl Scouts and one of our brothers in the lodge, standing in the doorway, just looking inside, has no features, eyes, nose, or mouth, but he has this full silhouette of his body. While investigating Megara's Inn, we received some very strange reactions from the ovulus. The ovulus is only programmed to say one word at a time, and not sentences. That's freaking me out, guys. Yeah, I kind of want to turn this uh, loud now. Wait. Are you messing with my ovulus? Say something. What? Call. What did it say? You scared? Did it say you scared? Oh, no. Whoa. Did you ask me? <laughs> Get up. Get out. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Holy like... shit. Can I turn the light on now? <laughs> Fine. We'll leave. We're leaving. <laughs> so, will you leave? Dude. Yeah. Alright, alright. Dude, relax. You're leaving. leaving. No problem. While conducting an EVP session in the stairway at Megara's Inn, we captured this very clear EVP. Later during the investigation, a similar message was received through the spirit box. Isolated and forgotten on the back roads of Florida, the White House stands brooding behind the thick foliage that has grown up around it. With almost no official records, its past remains a mystery. The only existing record indicates the house was abandoned suddenly in the 1920s. It has, over time, developed a reputation for being haunted. While conducting an EVP session in the living room of the White House, we captured this unexplained humming. Did a tragedy occur here? Did a tragedy occur here? During this EVP session, we captured this unexplained Did laughter. Did anyone die in this house? Did anyone die in this house? During this spirit box session, the same laughter is captured through the spirit box. There's somebody armed in this room. Did anyone die in this house? Right, so we're going to step out for a minute and just let this run on its own. While we were out of the house, the millimeter remained at zero milligauss, and nothing set off the musical EMF detector. The ovulus only spoke one relevant word, and that was flowers. Could that be relating to the wallpaper? Then this unexplained light anomaly appeared briefly, there was nothing left in the room that could have caused this flash. Here we have held it in freeze frame. Alright, we're in. We're back. The Old Bell is the oldest hotel in England. Originally built as a guest house for the Abbey Builders, from 1703 to 1798, it was known as the Castle. Its name was later changed to the Old Bell. The east wing of the hotel is built partially on top of the Abbey churchyard. The Abbey was founded in the year 675. Oldham, the first abbot, of the Abbey is known for building the first church organ in England. Mm -hmm. 
During a solo session in the James Odie room, Nell captured two disembodied voices and some interesting responses on the obulus. It's just me and you. What would you like to say? Found. I found the grey lady. Evil. Something evil made that noise. Why are you evil? Below. Do you come from below ground? After we set up the static camera, we all left the room and allowed it to run for one hour and 35 minutes. At the 25 minute mark, the camera recorded its first unexplained sound. 20 minutes later, the camera's audio recorded a second unexplained sound. Although we were unable to capture any visual evidence, at 43 minutes into this recording, our camera's audio captures a female voice, possibly saying the word seven. Seven may be referring to the James Odie room. Static Camera 2 that we left trained on the table captured these very low EVPs. The first of these EVPs we believe might be saying fall in. The second EVP we believe is again repeating the word seven. The final EVP we captured, we believe, is saying the name Julie very quickly. The fact that these EVPs were captured only on static camera number two and not on our other static camera or the digital recorder we find interesting. I'm Steve from Visual Paranormal and I'm here in Pluckley in an area known as the Screaming Woods. The Screaming Woods is known for apparitions, shadow figures, sounds, screams that happen both day and night. We're going to try to come back and conduct a night investigation of this area to see if we record anything, if we get anything on EVP, or get anything on camera. So we'll be back here later, but this is the Screaming Woods of Pluckley. During this session, Nell mentioned she saw something dark moving behind me. I took the full spectrum camera and began taking photographs. In most of the 60 photos I took that night, nothing unexpected appeared. There had been an earlier shower, so the moisture in the air reflected back to the camera, creating the illusion of circular anomalies. I continued taking my photographs in a series of three and it wasn't until I took this photograph that I noticed something unusual. In this photograph we capture what appears to be a mist figure or a formation of a partial apparition. While taking this series of photographs I did not realize at the time that I had actually captured 
a sequence involving this unexplained anomaly. In this first photograph, you can see the anomaly entering from the upper right-hand portion of the frame. Next, we made this photograph black and white so you can see it more clearly. In this photograph, you can see a stick lying across the path. In the next photograph, you can see that the unexplained anomaly is over that stick in that pathway. Originally known as the Nag's Head, the inn suffered a fire and was destroyed in 1731, killing a woman in what is now Room 4. It was rebuilt and became known as the Black Swan. Hi, we're in room four at the Black Swan Hotel in Devizes. Uh, this room is supposedly haunted by a prostitute who sits in this window and overlooks the town centre. We've just been setting up and we've noticed on the window here is a handprint which looks very skeletal. We've tried to recreate it on this window with my hands and as you can see they're a lot fatter and there are more gaps. As we entered the hallway, our camera's audio captured these unexpected EVPs. I'm Steve from Visual Paranormal, and I'm here at the Farm Colony with Ed during a nor'easter, and we're going to continue our investigation into the missing children of Andre Rand. It was here on these grounds in the 1970s that a monster prowled. His name was Andre Rand. He abducted children that were disabled and only one of his victims was ever found. The other bodies remain hidden somewhere, perhaps on these grounds or in another location that he used as a makeshift campsite. Tonight, we're going to try to find the dark energy that exists in the farm colony and maybe get a clue as to where these children are and possibly bring them some closure. All right, we're going to stop on the spirit box. Hello, Lady P. Were you a nurse? Did you die in this place? This unusual EVP we found shocking because it may be answering a question directly about death. Substances. Did you live here? Did you live here? 
in this room. Hillview Manor, located in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, opened its doors on October 19, 1926. Originally known as the Lawrence County Home for the Aged, its purpose was to serve as a poorhouse for the county's mentally ill, aged, destitute, and for orphans. Do you like ladies coming here to speak to you? It's all right, you can answer her. Go ahead. Such a weird feeling, doesn't it? Isn't it? Thank you. You can't cross them now. Are you shy with all these people here? Cross for yes, stay straight for no. I personally, and as a member of VPI, knew the dowsing rods were a chance to try a different way to contact the spirits. It was the strangest feeling to have something in my hands move without me controlling it. I could feel the energy pass through them in response to my questions. Would you like to come and speak to us on one of our devices tonight? Cross for yes and stay straight for no. Do the rocking chairs move in here? There's lots of rocking chairs in the bedrooms. Can you make those move by themselves? All the lights. Thank you. Can make those move by themselves? All the lights. Thank you. It has been said of Penhurst that one could hear the screaming long before they reached the buildings. It took a special kind of courage for those who continued daily to work at Penhurst under the conditions of overcrowding and understaffing. Those who suffered were the children of Penhurst. It stands abandoned now as a reminder of society's apathy. We're here in Devon Hall, it's almost completely dark outside, very dark in here. And Maura and Tina had an uncle who actually lived here and died here, right Tina? Yes. yes, he died when he was 21 years old and he lived here for probably around 10 years. But I'm looking for someone in particular and his name's John Kelly. Can you tell me, is he here with us? Now we're a little bit lost in a lot of new people here. Can you give us the name of the building that we're in? If John Kelly is here, can you say John Kelly? Can you say John Kelly loudly? Can you tell me where his room might be? Okay, we just got done an EVP session and we have voice activated recorders, so we're gonna play back and see if we got anything. Sounds like John right there. Right there. I thought you said the full name. I hear both. John, and then your speaks and you hear. Yeah, I hear both. John Kelly, are you here with us? Are you here with us? Yeah, he yeah. says John Kelly. John Kelly is here. Say John Kelly. Yeah. There's a voice underneath that, it's mm -hmm. layered. 
Ooh. Definitely something There's there. something there, right there. Yeah. It's like John Kelly. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for someone in particular, and his name's John Kelly. Can you tell me if he's here with us? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think it's yes, I do. Let me play it one more time so that your mom can hear it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think it's 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 yes, I do. I